uh, ESPN has responded to the Sage Steel lawsuit trying to get a motion to dismiss. Now, this is not an unexpected outcome. Most of the lawsuits that are filed, the person who is being sued a lot of times will counterclaim and file their own lawsuit. ESPN is not doing that against Sage Steel, but they're trying to get her lawsuit dismissed, arguing that there's no legal basis for it to exist under Connecticut law where it was filed. And also what they're doing as a part of this lawsuit is they're acknowledging that what Sage Steele said is true in her complaint, namely that Ryan Clark, who is an NFL insider, refused to work with Sage Steele because of her political beliefs. Think about how pathetic it is for a woke, grown-ass man to turn into a cry bully and try to keep uh, Sage Steele from being able to do her job because you disagree with her politics. And Ryan Clark should stop being a coward and he should completely own this. He should say she has political opinions I disagree with and therefore I'm not willing to work with her and he should say it publicly. At least then he wouldn't be hiding like he is now trying to pretend that this didn't happen when ESPN has now admitted it in their motion to dismiss. I think this is pathetic. The fact that you would refuse to go on air with a coworker because their political opinions are different than your own is how we have ended up in a world that is so incredibly divisive. Look, there are lots of people who have different political opinions than me. You know what I do? I say, hey, we agree to disagree, and then I'll go out and have a beer with them. That's my belief in life, that you can't allow a political disagreement to keep you from being friends with someone. There are all sorts of people that I've gone to school with who disagree with my political opinions and vice versa. And guess what? We're still friends because we still agree on a lot, and we can still work together. Everyone at... Uh, any place I've ever worked, Fox Sports, uh, Fan House, Deadspin, CBS, Outkick, people have a wide variety of opinions. If you always agree with everyone, then it probably means that your company is going to fail because there is not enough diversity of thought. And the idea that you would refuse to go on the air on ESPN because of what someone said about their own political opinions is to me unacceptable and ESPN should have been willing to step up and say if you're not willing to work with people who are on air at this network bye we're done with you you can find a new job because that's not how we roll of course ESPN didn't do it because Ryan Clark is a cry bully and he's embracing woke politics and they're afraid of what the result might be so they let him censor Sage Steele effectively because they can't put Sage Steele on to do a job because of cry bully Ryan Clark. Make no mistake, that's what he is, a cry bully. He is being a baby, grown-ass man, can't work with somebody who disagrees with him. He is, in my opinion, a pathetic loser for not owning that and just announcing what he's doing and take the slings and arrows that come with it instead of trying to hide behind ESPN and their ridiculous woke politics.